Hi everyone, how, how have you been these days? Welcome to the seventh week of academic, academic writing. We are focusing on paragraph writing. Today I made a quick video so that I can explain you about formatting a paragraph and then talk about the answers for your worksheet of week, uh, week six. So let's quickly begin. In the beginning, let's quickly talk about how you format a page. Uh, I had to do this because uh, some of you have a good formatting in the uh, essays, paragraph about admirable person you sent me last week, but some of you need a lot of editing. So please keep this, these points in mind. Here are some important points you need to consider when you type your essays or your paragraphs. It's all about typing, okay? When you, you, you type on uh, Microsoft Word or whatever software you have, always use Times New Roman. That's a font, okay? Font name, use Times New Roman. Then set the font size, font size, size of the text to 12, number 12. And on the top, write your name, your student number, your class name, and the date of submission or date you prepare your document. Then after just below the date, type your title at the center of the page. Don't put it on left or right, put it on center of the page. Then each paragraph, when you have a paragraph, start with five spaces that we call indent in a paragraph. Uh, if uh, you're when you're using a computer you have the big button space bar in the center of your keyboard please hit five spaces in english keyboard okay not don't use the japanese keyboard for that so that will give you a good format of your uh, paragraph let's see a sample okay for example on the top type your name then you can type in your cl class name then student number then date, that's quite old date, but type in date there. Then title of your paragraph, for example, my admirable person, or this week you will be talking about college students, okay? Format for written assignment, that's my title here. Then here is the instruction. So please type in your essays there. And if you uh, just quickly read this, concerning the basic formatting, Use Times New Roman font face, 12 point font size, double space, which is called Itten Go Gyo Kan, left justify. The lines on the page should align on the left. See, look, look at this. On the left, it's straight. On the right, it is not. And this is also, I have to tell you, some of you maybe have this kind of format, but on the right side, you hit enter. When you want to change the Gyo Kan, don't hit enter uh, when you want to change the go i mean line don't hit enter if you continue typing it will automatically go to the second line so don't hit enter at the end of every line and last one indent each paragraph five spaces by using space bar after that when you have multiple pages if you have only one page it's not important to put page number but if you have more than one pages, include page numbers at the bottom center of each page and put your name always in Romazi, student number and date on the top as I already said, okay? Please follow this. And uh, let me quickly show you how you type is. For example, you have this page here, okay? So when you type, Forget the top there. For example, look at this part. When you type, start using one, two, three, four, five spaces. And let's quickly copy whatever I have there. One of the one of the most famous young entrepreneurs in the United States is Mark. Zuckerberg. So some of you maybe hit enter there. Enter or son, I don't hit enter. Continue typing. He is okay. Now it's at the end of the line. Still don't hit enter. 
Suzuki de you type in there, then it will automatically go down. For example, here is the C, it automatically goes down and you can continue typing, okay? So please use this, don't hit enter at the end of every single line when you type from now on. Next, that this is about week six assignment. Uh, on week six, there are two uh, questions for you. One, state whether the following group of words or sentences or not, right? Yes or not, yes. So it's a very hot day. That's, sorry, is very hot day. So it doesn't have a up subject. Sugo, so it's not a sentence. It is very hot day. That's a sentence. That's an example in your textbook. My new classmate from Brazil. So what's missing here is 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 missing. It should be my new classmate is from Brazil. So this is not a sentence. He speaks three languages fluently. That's a good sentence. It's in the yes, be or order, subject, verb, object. Is very ex is very competitive. This is not a sentence the subject is missing what is very competitive it's not there hurry up please that's a sentence though it's a uh, kind of expression but it's a sentence he wants to start his own business that's a sentence he isn't married that's a sentence enjoys music especially jazz this is not a sentence because this this phrase does not have the subject there Next, don't send text messages in class. That's a sentence. The book, expensive. The book, that's Hugo, subject, expensive. So this does not have a verb form. So this is not a sentence. Go to the course website. That's a command, that's a sentence, okay? So if you have these answers, you got good answers. Let's go to the next one. Next one was, Find the seven missing subjects and verbs in this paragraph and make corrections. So your questions was, uh, the corrections are in red. For example, my friend Larry, a bad habit. So that doesn't have verb. So we should add, my friend Larry has a bad habit. He is never on time to anything. So arrives, again, subject is missing. You need to have, he arrives. Similarly, please check your answers. Larry always, Larry always an excuse. So Larry always has an excuse or gives an excuse. Next, over there uses not okay he uses okay and then he early then he's early then he's early larry larry's bad habit is not a problem for me any longer so is it's missing there i hope you have a good one next is was your exercise on change the small letters to capital letters were needed so all the uh, letters in red in this video in this screen are changed so maybe you have changed them accordingly uh, most of you did that okay that's about this and uh, uh next thing i want to talk about today quickly before we talk about uh, other things is about formatting your paragraph whenever you format a paragraph please over there use times new roman font from microsoft world screen and use 12 size okay for everything don't change then today i'm going to send you your uh comments with uh, your essays you sent me last week on uh what was that admirable person okay for that i want you to remember to take your download your files microsoft word file when you download look at your file if your file have changes, hang come if hang ko maybe. If you can see the changes, that's okay. But if you cannot see the changes, I have set the file with track changes function. You will see a line like this on the right side. If you click on the line, you can see all the changes there. Okay. For example, if the changes are not visible there, kono hen. If you cannot see the changes. What has been changed, you cannot see. You click the line and you can see all the changes. Cross is deleted, underlined is added, okay? For that, what you have to do is you have to, from your docu email or whatever email you have, what you have to do is, okay, let me show you from other emails. 
suppose uh, where I can go. I don't want to show you other emails. For example, you have this email, okay? Suppose this email. And if you go to Tempo file, you can see this file over there. Kokomadedato, you can see the file, but it's still not downloaded, okay? If you're using Tokyo email, choose this option, okay? This option will give you, sorry, this option will give you the download option. Click there, then click download, and then only you can see the file. So remember that you have to download and save your file. Tate, but the file I downloaded comes like this. Then only you can see the comments, okay? So that was another point I wanted to tell you about today. Click on this, after you download the file, click on the line and then you can see the changes. Then you can correct your essays later on. That's about next point. And the last thing we want to talk about today is listing order paragraph. So up to now, you're, you're writing paragraph about your best friend or paragraph about the somebody you admire. From now on, you're going to write little more academic paragraph. A paragraph always has three different parts. It begins with a topic sentence, the topic and the points the paragraph will describe, and it talks about each point separately. And then at the end, it will conclude the paragraph by a concluding sentence. Let's look at an example. Example we have is from page 38 of your textbook. It's a good flight attendants. Let's quickly read. Good flight attendants have three important characteristics. Right there, this is the first part, topic sentence of the paragraph. In other words, this by reading the topic sentence, you can say that this paragraph will talk about three characteristics of flight attendants. Then the one in uh, yellow color underline is the first point. The one with no underline is the second point. And the one with, with green color underline is the third point. Then in last, at the end, it has a red color sentence, which is the concluding sentence. So please read this paragraph by yourself uh, from page 38 of your textbook and understand the topic sentence, red underline, the first point, yellow underline, the second point, no underline, the third point, green underline, and the concluding sentence in red color. So after you study these, Use this study uh, after you study uh, the sentences, the sample paragraph, study textbook pages 40 to 47 and write the first draft of your paragraph. The topic for your paragraph would be college students face many challenges. So you can, for example, begin your paragraph with college students these days face a lot of challenges or College students these days face challenges of, of three types. Then you can talk about first type, second type, third type, and you can write a concluding sentence. That would be your first draft. That would be your assignment, writing assignment for this week. And I hope you enjoyed the lesson today. If you have any questions, send me an email. That's all for today. And thank you. So we'll finish here today. Goodbye.